Hi everyone, this is uh, Christian Herrera. Uh, welcome to my personal blog. Today I'm going to talk about a file manager that's called C Files. Uh, I've been searching for a file manager or more like a file browser. Uh, I've been using Ranger, uh, I've been using Midnight Commander. Uh, actually, I've been using Midnight Commander a lot, uh, even since I started with Linux many years ago it's a great file manager however you don't have this uh, attribute that you can browse and uh, preview the files while browsing <coughs> which is something you can do in Ranger uh, however uh, I've been trying to like Ranger uh, it's been working okay um, and uh, once I found out that you can use the add sign to open with when you want to edit a file for instance, and edit an image it's been okay to work with however uh, uh, I don't like the fact that it's written in Python uh, I am not a big f I mean I have nothing against the language by itself but uh, I had some run-ins with Python uh, when I was working as a CTO in a, in a internet marketing company and um, actually we had uh, it wasn't even compatible by with itself between versions and uh, it ended up with I had to rewrite a lot of scripts from the former employee <coughs> that had written everything in Python and uh, he didn't use good code standards so I have some aversion against Python, but I mean, well-written Python programs are okay, but they're, they're kind of slow uh, if you're not uh, pre-compiling them then with PYC or something similar. Yeah, but uh, so so that's that. Uh, I've been trying out the VIFM. Uh, very easy to use. I liked VIFM, however. It was very sluggish, very slow when it came with uh, when you put the, in the preview mode on the right or left pane and you were browsing through the files. It tended to slow down and uh, just get stuck and it was very painful to work with because of that. And uh, the second part is I didn't like that uh, it didn't have the standard places for configuration files and 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 such. So now I've, I found this program that was called C Files. It was a Pratt project from some guy that wanted to learn C. Um, <coughs> he wanted to learn C and he made this project. Uh, I was checking the last files were updated about uh, one and a half, two years ago. So I know it's still actively developed, but I would really love uh, for him to keep on developing it. Uh, what I like about this program is that it's very minimalistic. It's written in C, uh, and um, it uses SDG Open for opening files, which means that it doesn't have its own configuration for opening files like Midnight Commander or uh, Ranger or VIFM that you need to have the own configuration files and start typing in which program you want to. It's it, it's it's by SDG Open and. Uh, frankly i think that you should have one only one way to open the files and you have a centralized database and program should talk to that one so i, I really like that and uh, you have vi key bindings and such so to install the program on arch linux i using it's in the uh, arch users repository i use j to install it so let's install j minus s c files and um, something you need to be aware of is that the configuration is made in the in the header files just like when you installing something from the sackless repository for now we're going to leave stuff at this uh, you could activate the pdf preview However, it's very buggy. Uh, you could uh, use uh, W3M or Ubersag uh, for the image display. Uh, but uh, I will show you what happens when you activate the PDFs and that later. 
the the normal key bindings everything is very fine it's it's very good I, I like the the defaults so we would keep it we keep it at that so let's write and quit it looks fine and it compiles very fast so now it's installed so when we open up C files uh, to start with uh, I have prepared some files and stuff here in, in the directory you have the normal key bindings uh, JK uh, HL for navigating so I am just wanted to show you that as for now the PDF is not working but however if you tap enter it uses um, it opens the PDF right, right, right fine and if you type an I you get information about the PDF file and while we're here we can check the image preview we can use this muestras my cousin is a designer he lives in Chile he made this this as you can see it's kind of fast it's working it's using ubersag but it doesn't lock itself as you can see if i was using vifm this would take forever because it what it it would like to load the images before going to the next one so it would actually yeah it, it was a pain more or less so let's go back to the c files uh, directory yeah you can go back to my home directory you can use capital G to go to the end of the list you can use G to go to the top so normal VI key, uh, Vim key bindings and as you can see here we have this PDF file I'm going to keep this PDF file for later to select files you use the the space unselect with space unselect all with you uh, you can actually select the files and uh, you could select the files and uh, edit your file selection list with E it open up swim and you could for instance delete a, uh, delete an instance over there and you will see that it's unselected so this is very useful if you have selected a lot of files and you don't know which ones to work with to uh, copy files you can use the, uh, the uh, by the way <coughs> these are just empty files that I created with the touch command earlier when preparing for this video so if we choose these three files and I go to the directory one we enter and I type the Y for jank it copies them in there however uh, when I go back I see that these are still selected so I can just type U and it, uh, unselect these files so you just have to remember that when you when you yanked some files or copied some files um, so that's the easy part but uh, if we open the the man page Uh, you can see that you get the normal key bindings you can use a tab to view the selection list E as I already told you Y for and A for rename and you can delete files to trash or delete them to uh, instantaneously as you would and we can just do that for one so let's delete uh, these two files so I select them I use the D and I can choose the small D to move to trash or the big D to to delete them I need to confirm that so as you can see the files are no, no longer there so it's working very very good I like that what I need to learn now is how to use the P command to run a script because <coughs> even if it uses SDG open to open files for instance images and such 
I don't really know how to use an open with command. In Ranger you can use um, an at to and then you open with. In VIFM you just uh, go into command mode with the uh, with colon and then you type the command percentage %f to open the file. But I haven't found out how to do it in this uh, file manager yet, but I guess I can I can script it. So now we we gone, gone over that we can start talking about the flaws of this uh, file manager and what it needs to be done. Uh, we recompile it. So let's uh, make a clean build. And let's show the PDF previews. So set them to one. My magic password, and let's open C files again. So, for now, if we go back to the muestras, you can see that this is still working. But uh, if we go to this, uh, to this C files directory and we go to the PDF, it did work this time, but it tends to crash sometimes. This time it didn't want to crash, but if we go to the, to this one. funny it's working uh, now it crashed I see as you see I got the bad blocks header and in flight stream and it crashes and even if I type the the R key for uh, redrawing the image it tends to wanna crash it's working fine this time no now it crashed so that's what happens when you when you're using the C files and use the PDF, the PDF. So it wants to crash, and it it's annoying. Sometimes it works better, sometimes it works works worse. But now, if we go back and try and use the same settings, but using W3M instead for Ubersag, uh, I'm not German, so I don't know how to how they pronounce that one. So let's use the PDF, change it to a one, and we use clear image and display IMG scripts that are stored in the usage of C files. I will try to debug this later when I have the time but I have too much work to do. Yes, I'm just making a this quick video as for now. So let's quit. We compile it. So now when we open the C files you see that the w W3M is kind of buggy it doesn't clear the image, it leaves the image over the, right there. If we go to the Muestras directory, you see that it's writing over my script. As you can see. And if we go to this more buggy... But actually it crashes less often than when using Ubersag, even with this buggy PDFs, as you can see. So actually I can keep on using it with this buggy scripts. But it tend to crash later, but uh, yeah. So that's, that's, the, that's the issues it has. Um, so I hope the developer wants to work with this because uh, I really like this program. 
as it is. So, well, this is C files. Uh, there it crashed. There it crashed. So let's quit. Let's quit. Die. Let's kill the window. So that's all the issues. Uh, I really hope that the developer will, will keep on working with this uh, project because I like it. Um, I will see if I can contact him, see if I can lend a hand, but I haven't programmed in C for many years. I actually forgot in the language, so maybe I'm not the best help for, for these guys to keep on doing this project. But it's a great project. I, I really like I really like it. So, that was everything for today. Uh, I am planning a video on uh, how to use the um, uh, term cap or term info to make your man pages with color because you can use most or something similar as your pager for real man pages. But, as for now, as you can see, I coming on. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the hang of it, but uh, I still need to do some more work on those configurations. I will work with them. I will teach myself more of the old uh, uh, term cap, which is actually de deprecated. Uh, so now you, they use term info. But um, I will see how you can change these uh, programs with term cap and i will make a video about that when i find the time for that uh, if you like this type of contents please uh, like the video subscribe to it uh, if you want to tell me something get in contact with me ask me anything uh, just leave a comment uh, if you don't like the video leave a thumbs down it actually helps me with the algorithm <coughs> since I'm not getting paid to do this in any way so it is what it is I won't put too much effort in uh, in in the editing or anything because uh, I don't want to be begging for money for patreon or something and uh, I do this most as a just to remember what I was doing on those dates so, so, so to say well have a really nice one goodbye bye